Hi everybody, it's Tom from Vehicle Visionary. Today I'm at Morgan Buick GMC here in Shreveport, Louisiana, and this is the 2022 GMC 2500 Denali. This is the HD, and it is the limited version. So before anybody jumps down in the comments and says that's not a 2022, here's the reason why you're not seeing the changes that are coming in 2022. That's why this is called the limited, because those changes are coming about midway through the year. We'll see exactly how that works out. But in the meantime, since these have been a little challenging to get, let's take a look at exactly what this truck is all about. And I'm going to tell you what, it is impressive. You won't find a lot of trucks that have a more aggressive look with the front end of the truck. If you're pulling up behind somebody in this, they're going to practically think, man, that looks like a semi truck. <laughs> i tell you what, it does have the big grill. Hard to show on screen how big it really is. I don't have my videographer today, so I can't show as much of that. But as you can see, a very large grill, plenty of air getting into the engine compartment there to keep that diesel engine nice and cool. Obviously, the GMC logo. And I like the design of the headlights. Just an overall nice, aggressive look turn signal indicator in just the perfect spot. Also going to have the fog lights down there on the lower portion of the bumper. In addition to when you need to pull those Fords and Rams and even Toyotas and Nissans out of the mud, you've got the tow hooks located right here. That's going to make that a whole lot easier. But let's talk about the numbers that are going to make that possible based on what's under the hood. And what better way to start by showing you the logo, the badging right here on the side of the fender, the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel. This is going to be a stout motor. 445 horsepower, 610 foot-pounds of torque, made into a 10-speed automatic transmission, and obviously with a hood on a truck this large. My favorite feature is here as far as what makes opening the hood easy. You've got the hydraulic struts right here. That way you're not hunting around for anything to hold it up. Not that any of us could reach that high. Some of you could, but I sure can't, even at five foot ten. And if you're working under the hood or whatever the case may be, you even have a little section right here where you could put some drinks and snacks and things like that. Yes, I'm being very sarcastic about that, but that is interesting that something like that is there. It's a multitasker. Tire size comes in at 275, 65, surrounding those 20 inch wheels. And that is one thing that's gonna be beneficial here a lot of the time these trucks are known for maybe not riding as well, but you have a nice thick sidewall. So that's going to help and aid at least in that situation. And if you're wondering where your engine block heater is, very conveniently located right here on the side. I don't know how well, how good of an image I can give you of that, but that's where it's located right there. Really cool feature. And even though I already turned everything off, you obviously have turn signal indicators built into these power folding side view mirrors. And just so you can take a quick look at the remote, you can see that and everybody's favorite feature is going to be right here, the remote start. We're going to lock the doors real quick because there is something I wanted to show you. You have passive entry right here on the front doors and also here on the rear. And the good thing is I can hit that button and unlock all four doors and that also allows that power sidestep to deploy. We'll watch that in action. Now this particular one, unlike some of the other GMC models that I've shown, doesn't have the feature where you hit the button on the rear and it comes back. You don't really need that because you have the sidestep right here. And if you're wondering about this gorgeous black exterior color, it's called Ebony Twilight Metallic. It really seems like the right color or name for the color. Now, as far as towing goes, you're looking at 14,500 pounds and 3,798 up to 3,900 pounds as far as your payload goes. And then you do have the multi-pro tailgate right here. We'll open that up real quick and show you a couple of the features in case you're new to this. I really like the fact that this is a great multitasker because you can leave it like this. You can use that as almost a picnic table, a table for a meeting. You can put your phone or your tablet up here on a tripod or whatever you have and have a Zoom meeting or whatever the case is. You can also open this up. And as you can see, when I do that, it is an extension for the bed. So if you have something you're putting inside the bed, but you need a little extra space maybe to kind of prop that up and keep it in place without tying it down and know it'll stay in place. Well, there's how you do that. 
but that's not the only way you do that. There's a couple of different ways. You can also open the bed. Obviously, that is a power tailgate right there. And you can go in here and do the exact same thing. I will do that right here. If I can do it one-handed, there we go, with the tailgate in the down position. And the tailgate obviously has a lot of functionality. It's kind of high, but that's okay because you can drop this portion right here and use that as a step. In fact, let's see if we can do that one-handed. I don't know if I can, but we'll give it a shot. So we'll drop that down as the step right there. You can see you also have the grip tape on here to make, make it a whole lot easier to get in there when it's wet outside and not slip. And then you do have the handle right here that goes in place. Try not to blind you with the sun, but that makes it a whole lot easier to get in and out of. Obviously, you've got connectivity here. That's going to make things super easy out on the job site or whatever you may be doing. And even though it's going to be very difficult to see, I'm not going to turn them on. You do have the LED in-bed lights right here on both sides. I like the fact that they're pointed in the right direction. That's just perfect. But there are other lights around the truck also that make everything much easier. And I'm glad to see this truck comes with a bed liner. If you were going to buy this truck, one thing I would recommend there is an accessory that goes right here that you'll flip up out of the way to put in your trailer hitch into the receiver. And when you do that, what that does is that basically shuts out the ability to use the Multi-Pro tailgate and bring this part down because trust me, you don't want to open this into your hitch if you have one down there. So GMC has made that option available. In case you're wondering about that, you can get that directly here at Morgan Buick GMC. And nice large door bins. I like the fact that if you want a really large blender bottle for your protein powder after your workouts, that's gonna fit in there perfectly. Lots of beef jerky and protein bars right there. Whatever snacks you want to have. And obviously, something I'm really surprised we haven't seen with other truck makers is the in-seat storage right here on both sides. You could put a lot of things in there. I'll leave that up to you as to what you could put in there, but there's obviously a lot of options. And let's see if I can move this up. Here is your cable for hooking up to charge your block or to heat your block, that block heater plug that we talked about earlier. And if you're wondering about the sunroof, well, you do have the conventional size sunroof right there, but one thing I'll say for sure, I already showed you where you can put those large blender bottles of your whey protein or your isolate or whatever you like in the door bin right there. There's one on each side, so there's two areas for that. Then you have two more cup holders right here. And then in addition to that, You've got two more cup holders right here with additional space. If you had one of those square juice boxes or something like that, even that could go right there. Or maybe some additional snacks, some beef jerky, whatever it is you like with that fold-down armrest. Nobody's going to go thirsty back here. You can have almost a juice bar back here if that's what you wanted. And on the rear of the console, we're going to find our connectivity with the USB ports, with the 12-volt power outlet right there, and dual air conditioning vents. Additionally, your passengers in the rear can put whatever they want to back here with the map pockets on each seat. Quite a bit of storage throughout. But let's get up into that front seat and see what you're going to find there. And large door bins will greet the front seat passenger, as you can see right here. So if they're also into bodybuilding, they can stick their blender bottle here and whatever they want right there. Hey, maybe you can even put a pack of Skittles right there if you're having a cheat snack. Only one, right? power seats for the driver and the passenger, and a lot of storage here. You're gonna have the upper and the lower glove boxes. That is useful in so many different ways. Nice deep glove box as far as the conventional location goes right here. There's also a little bit of space right here. You could probably put a phone or maybe a few more hidden snacks. Hey, if you're having those cheat snacks, you could hide them right here and nobody would know they were there but you. Not only am I surprised that we haven't seen that in-seat storage in the seat backs and the back seat come to other truck makers, but also what you have right here. This is all the information you need to know about towing and payload and how to basically formulize what you can tow based on what you're hauling as far as your payload or how many people are in the cab of the truck. So. There is everything to do that. I'm not going to explain how all that works because it would probably take too long and maybe be a little overly complicated. I don't know that I could simplify that very much. And looking in through the driver's side door, there's not a lot more here than what you found on the passenger side, but you do have the adjustments for the mirrors. 
seat memory and obviously you're going to be able to adjust the towing mirrors so let's take a look at how that works right there i think you can see what i'm doing on the screen hopefully but as you can see that's working and obviously it does move both at the same time so you don't have to worry about whether or not the passenger hits a button on their door and then up here we're going to find our mode selection and obviously all the lights around the truck and there are a lot there's lights on the mirrors lights on the rear tailgate and just all kinds of stuff everywhere and then the controls for your headlights right here and obviously right here for those fog lights you do have a manually adjustable tilt and telescopically adjustable steering wheel and here is what we have as far as the instrument cluster goes i probably don't need to tell you too much about what's there but some of you might need to know what's right here this is the blinker lever you also control the functionality for your windshield wipers right there but watch this this is a really neat trick if you've never seen it before when you push that into the up position see that arrow that's blinking to the right and then when you push it into the down position it blinks to the left that corresponds with the blinkers on the outside of the vehicle and lets people around you know what you're doing. Wow, what a novel idea. I know not all of you have that option on your vehicles, but if you do, now you know how to use it. Just a little bit of fun there. It's okay to laugh and use your blinkers too. Obviously, steering wheel mounted controls here for your adaptive cruise control. You've got voice commands and a lot of other features here. In fact, you can go through a lot of features right here depending on what you want to see. I'll run through a few of those and give you a good on-screen demonstration of what all is here. We've got plenty of fuel in the truck and you can see so many different things here. So much good information. Very easy to use, very easy to figure out. If you're new to this kind of technology, trust me guys, it's not hard to use, it's not hard to learn, it's no big deal. A Little bit of storage right here above the infotainment screen and yes, this is the previous generation of the infotainment screen from GM, but very easy to use, very easy to learn. You've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto right there. You can have users for the system right there. Very easy to sit, figure out, very easy to set up and use. You even have everything here for trailering as far as a checklist. Uh, you can set up different trailers. If you tow multiple trailers, this is great for such a thing. We'll even check through here a little bit and look at what's here as far as what you're going to be doing, whether it's conventional gooseneck or fifth wheel. And then you can store your trailers right here and settings. There is plenty here. And I like the fact that even though I can go into reverse, for those of you who don't like push button shifters, guess what? You probably already saw it. There is the shifter, the column shifter. A lot of people really like that and want to see that stick around. Can't say that I blame you so much for that. But the good thing is you don't have to go into reverse to see your cameras. You've got the overhead 360 degree view right there, as you can see on the left-hand side. And we'll take a look at some of the other camera angles that you can see. That's pretty cool. That was a total accident that that happened, that that little SUV just drove by. But that gives us a good demonstration of how that works. A really nice camera system here. Multiple cameras, multiple views. Just so nice to have. And by the way, I did want to show there is additional information here or additional views I should say as far as your cameras go there is definitely no shortage of views available with the cameras around this truck I don't have to tell you much about what's here for controlling the radio you can push that button right there to go home if you need to you've got your dual zone climate control and quite a few one touch buttons right here very easy to use, very easy to figure out. And then connectivity down here as well. Quite a bit of connectivity throughout the truck. USB ports, 12 volt, and another power outlet right there. And here is your wireless charging pad, a little bit of storage right there, and more cup holders. That's right. But something I like to point out here about these GMC trucks, or your Chevrolets, depending on what you buy, but GMC in this case, if you need more than one wireless charger I'm trying to remember what i was saying there <laughs> we're going to do this in one take and so i'm going to keep going you can also have an aftermarket charger put in right here there's a usb connection back here or excuse me a 12 volt that allows you to do that and put that in no problem you've got more connectivity right here and a very deep console this truck pretty much has it all so that's a quick tour of the 2022 GMC 2500 HD Denali. I gotta say a special thanks to my friends here at the dealership, especially Wesley. Come in and talk to Wesley Swayze if you are interested in buying this truck. 
And obviously, I appreciate each and every one of you for being kind enough to give me the opportunity to give you a vision for your next vehicle. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out another of the videos that's on the screen right now, and I will see you there.